Euh, on connaît le Makossa, on connaît plusieurs rythmes chez nous. Mais celui-ci, il est très peu connu. Et nous avons la chance ce soir d'avoir l'un des représentants de cette musique-là qui s'appelle Ambas B. Le chanteur camerounais que je vous demande d'applaudir, Saleh John. Saleh Hello, most beautiful, good-looking ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Canada. Did I just say Canada? Come on, let's read it again. This is Creative Tour, and we welcome you to Douala, the Canada of Africa. Douala, the city and chief port of Cameroon. It is situated on the southern east shore of the Wuri River. On the Atlantic Ocean coast, about 130 miles, which is roughly to 210 kilometers west of Yaoundé. Douala is ruled by a first class king named His Royal Highness King Equala II since 1949. And at the head of the government is a governor by name Mr. Samuel Iwaha Dibois who have been successfully ruling Douala since 2015. Douala is the home of Central Africa's largest port and its major international airport, which is the Douala International Airport, abbreviated uh, DLA. It is the commercial and economic capital of Cameroon and the entire Semak region comprising of Gabon, Congo, Chad, Equatorial Guinea, Central Africa Republic and Cameroon itself that owns Douala. Consequently, Douala handles most of its country major exports such as oil, cocoa and coffee, even timber, metals and so much fruit. As of 2015, the city and its surrounding area had an estimated population of about 5,700,000 68,000 people, above roughly that number. Douala serves as the capital of the German Cameroon Protectorate from 1984 and, uh, sorry, from 1984 to 1902. It again served as the capital of Cameroon in 1940 to 1946. Uh, with a mixture of traditional, colonial and modern architecture, Douala has grown rapidly since World War II and is the most popular city in the Republic of Cameroon. I think this is enough with history today. By the way, this is Creative Tour. If this is your first time meeting us, remember to like, share, subscribe, drop a comment of whatsoever thing you feel about us, be it positive or negative, we are available. We'll reply to your comment and it will help us improve on our next video. Get your seat, get something as we drive on. Without making an advert of the Douala Airport, if you are anywhere in the world looking for a budget flight to Cameroon, I seriously recommend the Douala International Airport for you. Because it's actually a commercial airport and it's cheaper. Once in Douala, there are places you should never miss visiting. So, can you drop a comment of a place you think is most beautiful in Douala as I start naming those that I have managed to visit and I know. Not just naming the places you think they are beautiful, but which is, uh, which is your favorite place in Douala? As for me, I love the Bonaberry. You know, as an English person, if you want to meet the Bansaw people, Kambe people, Bamenda people, become people everything english you need to come to the bonaberry this is the douala english city douala english area once you're in bonaberry it's like you are in bamenda because everywhere is english not just that uh looking at uh, all the agency like amume zam sort of boys vatican everything that leaves bamenda mostly drops at uh bonaberry that's why i make bonaberry my own favorite place so drop a comment of your favorite place 
and tell us why it is your favorite place. I just explain mine. Before I forget, the amount of English people where they Bonaberry, plenty pass amount of English people where they Northwest and Southwest. There are too many. In fact, when you get to Bonaberry, it's like you're either in the Southwest or in the Northwest. It is all a talk say, a yes say, where you did go, what you did do, everything. It's English and it's perfectly English. Lately, we used to be in Limbe where we talked about churches. See, Douala is the same like Limbe, but due to the massive population they have, it's difficult to identify such like on a villa you see many churches. But we are doing well with that. And uh, we cannot talk about a city without mentioning places you can visit and flex, enjoy yourself. So I'll just name a few places that I visited. Uh, I actually went through the, the, the St. Peter and Paul Cathedral at Bonadibon. I also went through the Marché de Fleurs. I went through uh, Paco Vita. I went through the Grand Mall. I went through Aqua. And I visited a lot of places. I went through the seaport. But... Uh, I'll just have to flash on that because if we have to talk everything detailed about Douala, this series might carry us to the next three months. So, let's elaborate on the Grand Mall issue. All I can say regarding the Grand Mall is, this is the abroad of Cameroon. Full stop. Don't argue with me. You can go and argue elsewhere. Don't argue. The Grand Mall in Douala is actually the good example of the abroad in Cameroon. See, if you leave Boya, Limbe, Bamenda, Ndok, I say Ndok because uh, most Ndok people only know the Njifobi, the Commercial Avenue, Ayaba and Mawa Hotel. Please, once you get to Douala, don't take a taxi because traffic might disturb you. Don't take a taxi. Use na bike. So that you can reach for Douala more. Early, what time is today? It's not plenty picture. So that as you go, go back, as you reach for so uh, and come back. Sorry, I mean though. So that you could post them small, small as time they go and they find transport for go grand more. Go snap more pictures. I beg na joko, me might not take serious. Do you know Samuel Etofis? Uh this guy <laughs> I'd like us to talk about Samuel Etofis in the brief. He's doing a great job and he's transforming the team. I think he took the World Cup to Qatar 2022, yeah. Though it wasn't a success, but he did his possible best to see that the indomitable Lions of Cameroon get to this level. Uh, if you don't know Samuel Etofis, when Cameroon met with Nigeria in the year 2000 in an African Cup of Nations, this guy scored a goal and it was a winning goal. He undressed. We thank God he was putting on white boxers. That is the moment Samuel Etofis became very famous until he stopped his career as a footballer. I was just trying to say he's from Douala. What about Manu Dibango? Uh, what about Henri de Conque? Uh, Rodolf Douala Mangabel. These are historians. These are people that have shaken Cameroon. These are people that are still, shake, are still shaking in Cameroon. You correct or you not correct? Anyway, if you not correct, drop comment with so that my user and correct for the next video. Ah, uh, let's talk about Francis Baby. It's a bamboo flute playing only one note. That's, that's the only note you can get out of that flute. I personally went to a French school. There is a poem in, I think, primary 4 or primary 5 that Francis Baby wrote. It's a village natal. Each person that's called within the year 2000, 2003, you will understand. It was a massive and life-touching poem. So I love that guy, Francis Baby. He did great. Without forgetting, do you know Uncle Petit Pays? Rabba Rabi, the lawyer of all women. He's also from Douala. The city of Douala is actually divided into seven districts. We have the Aqua, the Bassa, the Bonaberry, the Bonapriso, the Bonanjo, Taido, and New Belt. Talking about transportation, Douala is linked by railway to Yaoundé, Gaoundéry and Kumba, and even uh, Konsamba. 
Douala is a city with a modest oil resource in Africa, but is in excellent agricultural condition. Therefore, it has one of the best economic in Africa. I think we have almost gone round Douala. If we have to go door to door, <laughs> our great grandchildren will come to watch this series still on Douala. So let's keep this part as we might be coming back as time litters. Every word we use in this uh, our episode is not to look down on any city, on any person, or on any community. We are just trying to uh, make it jovial and add a little bit of fun on our series. So don't take it serious. It's all a joke. But what we spoke about Douala, about the beauty of Cameroon, is real. If you have not subscribed or like, remember to like, share, subscribe, and drop a comment. See you next time as we shall be in Yaoundé, the capital of Cameroon. Ciao. <laughs>